pretty heartbreaking day. Um, the world sort of spins around in 100 million different directions. Uh, strangely enough, all, all my knees have been different, so I didn't actually know that I'd done it, which, um, which sounds a bit stupid when you're up to third, you think you should know what the hell goes on, but um, yeah, the feeling of all of them were different, so you yeah, strapped it up. It didn't feel amazing, but I thought I'd just done my meniscus. I started in the midfield at the start of the second quarter, quickly moved myself to the wing because I didn't feel like I could change direction, and then felt pretty comfortable running up and down the wing. It was only really when I had to turn around um, that it felt uncomfortable, which in hindsight, when you've got no ACL, it's kind of hard to do. So it wasn't until I got to half time and I just said to the docs, I, like, I, just don't, I just don't think it's right. Left early in the morning before the group on the, whatever the next day was, Saturday, um, and started to get a few little warning signs that it was a bit unstable the day after, after I'd sort of, all the adrenaline had gone out. Um, obviously a lot of the swelling, it sort of started to come in, it just didn't feel great at all. Um, so I started to get a couple of inklings that it wasn't as good as I'd want it to be. And then, yeah, I found out. Matty gave me a call. I forced him to call me when he got off the plane, our doctor, and um, unfortunately, he uh, gave me the bad news. I wasn't wrong with the meniscus. I'd done my meniscus as well. So um, I was right with that, but I just didn't see the ACL coming. I, I was just too functional. In my mind, I was too functional to to have done it. It wasn't until the next day I gave Matty a call to talk through what we're, what we're doing. And um, yeah, he said to me, have you thought about an accelerated recovery? And I hadn't even hadn't even crossed my mind. And yeah, over, over the next probably 24 hours, the seed grew from not thinking about it at all to let's have a crack at it. So when the boys were playing round one against Richmond, I was in get my op, and yeah, went from oh, I want a month of relaxation to in four and a half days I was in for a surgery. Very me sort of operation that one. Hindsight of knowing how to rehab an ACL sort of has come in a bit clutch to be honest. So three days I was sort of out of bed walking. Um, within a week I was doing exercises and within, I don't know, within 15 days I was doing walking drills. At the moment, it's we're aiming to be ready by the start of finals. Well, given that normal rehab's 12 months, I'm probably somewhere around the seven or eight month mark. There's not that much you can accelerate right at the start. So running really early is just your body needs time to rest and recover. So I ran at 12, at 10 weeks instead of 12 is where I've usually ran um, on my other knees, which was a good little kickstarter. But essentially you can't get that much extra at the start. It's more from when you run to play goes from usually a sort of six month timeline, six to what, six to nine month timeline. Um, and we're trying to do that in about three or four. Admittingly, there's a lot of extra things that I have to tick off compared to what every, every other ACL is. In terms of biomechanic testing, strength testing, there's a lot of boring stuff that happens in the background that um, I have to tick along and I have to pass and, and sort of accepted that if I don't hit one of them, I have to just say no and I haven't missed one yet, so we, we're ticking along nicely. But there was an understanding that at some stage we could just pull the pin on it if it wasn't where we needed it to be. I, I concede that I'm ambitious, yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know, I feel like it's what's made me over my career though. If I shut up shop when I'm sore or when things haven't gone my way, I would have been finished a long time ago. So, um, makes me me, I guess. <laughs> Essentially, I'm now full training. So this week's, I've been basically full training, but bits and pieces with a hat on for non-contact, just for a little bit of safety. Been doing that for a couple of weeks, nearly two and a half weeks now, and then this week's full gas. So do all the session with the boys, all the gameplay, and then extras on top of that. The aim's been first final, and by full training means that I've passed absolutely everything that I've needed to pass. We're now into that level of performing, and I'll be, uh, I'll be venturing into Vossi's office a few times. I've already ventured in. I've tried to, I've, I've tried to play the last three weeks um, and have been denied by the physios and the coaches. We put a pretty tight timeline in um, for, to get ready for first final, so to sort of skip a step um, because of numbers would be a bit irresponsible. So um, didn't stop me from asking that. <laughs> I sort of had this conversation with Vossi. I feel like when you're playing, you've got some control over what is produced out there. And when you're not, you don't. And that lack of control over your own destiny um, is hard to sort of sit there with. After the Hawthorne game, we played really, really poorly, we had a number of injuries and um, I'm not going to lie, I did sit there that night wondering, geez, I've done a lot of work for, for it to be the <laughs> an amazing story that's never going to be told because I'm not going to have a game to play, but I'm watching as much as everyone else is and hoping and um, believing that the group's good enough to do it. It's been a long journey for the big fella, um, but sort of let you know that uh, Doc's playing this week. And oh, 
oh, I'm a bit all over the joint to be honest. Realization that the dream that I've had for the last six months has sort of come to a sort of a good end um, to be able to play and be told that, and then to be able to be told in front of all the boys and their reaction. And um, yeah, it was a nice moment. This whole last six months has been just about giving my office and myself an opportunity to um, to play if we got here and um, needed a lot of things to go right. Um, very thankful for coaching staff and medical staff and the footy club to be able to get me in a position to play and to trust me to be able to go out there and perform. First game this year against Brizzy, first game back against Brizzy up there, so it's crazy how footy works. Sam Doherty, what a story. Past McKenna, really nice pick up, Doherty. Can he kick a goal to Dock? What a great story. It's hard to reflect on it right now, but um, yeah, very proud of the, all the work that went into getting me back out here, whether that's myself or the people behind the scenes that that helped me along the way. It's um, yeah, it's been a hell of a six months. It's been a few days of reflection. Um, yeah, I don't I don't really know how how I was able to jam that amount of rehab into such a short period of time, but um, yeah, no, it was. Something I got to test myself with. Um, got to take my mind and body to a new spot, which is, which is, um, yeah, enjoyable. Sort of finding new ground in a way, but um, frustrating way to finish the season to be able to um, get back and play, but then um, us not perform the way we wanted to. So um, mixed emotions at the moment, but um, in a process of trying to get some rest and recuperation over the next few weeks, and um, then attack next year again. Proud of being able to do what I did and um, to get back out there. A um, bit of a frustrating game for playing on the wing and outside, um, just the way the game was played. So probably wasn't be able to probably wasn't able to play my best game out there. But um, yeah, the reality is to be able to sort of get back out there and play again. Um, I'm grateful for every game I get to play for the footy club. So um, to be able to go out there and, and pull on a navy blue jumper again was um, something that I cherish. Probably the first seed of. Um, thought process starts now and then you um, have, as I said, take a couple of weeks off to really just rest the mind and um, rest the body and then start to make a plan from there. That's, um, in the AFL 40, if you, if you sort of sit on your, sit on your heels, then uh, blokes go past you pretty quickly. So um, my plan will be made in about three weeks time about what I'm getting after and um, where I need to take my game next year to be a better player. and. Um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get I'll get after that pretty hard.